Like you said, you busted three on three times, but have you ever beaten this guy? Uh, I have, actually. Yeah, I brought him in. We don't like sport. to talk about that show. <laughs> <laughs> well, do do tell like us. How did he get you in the sport? He, he was the first guy who ever beat me in Classic, really. Back in 2016, my first ever pro show. Yeah, he came out of nowhere. It's where our friendship began, too, and grateful for that show, but I was never going to let that happen again. He <laughs> <laughs> was a baby back then, you know? Yeah. Come on! Come on, Chris! Come on! Two more! Three calm Olympian champions! Come on! Let's Chris. go! Pretty strong! grams of filet, 150 grams of rice, 100 grams of sweet potato, and 100 grams of red potato. So, it's actually 140 steak. Filet. She does better than me. A little jambalaya of carbs and steak. I also wish I could just eat a shit ton of steak right now. It tastes so good. It's good, yeah. More filet on the way. You can wait a little bit if, because I'm gonna eat this meat. Courtney's making it right now, and okay. I'm gonna eat it, and then, or you can come chill. But I gotta eat that first, so. Yeah, no problem. You just go ahead and take your Alright, and did you want me to take light and take this morning? Yes, yes, for sure. Keep taking that morning and night. Right now, until I tell you not to, is to take it every day except for the day of the show. Um, in the morning, two in the morning, and two at night. I just want to continue to just keep. Things flowing because you're not having diarrhea, it's just helping you with your bowel movements. And I think a little of the extra magnesium is helping you as well. Okay. Alright, perfect. What is up, YouTube? I fucked up already today. Calvin wanted to be a full day of eating. It is, but I had to wake up. Connie told me when I wake up just to like eat because we were up so late last night. He wanted me to like get more food in me. So I ate before we started filming, but it was a simple meal. I had 120 grams of oatmeal tasted delicious and 115 grams of chicken breast not that delicious but I'm still nice to eat some good food right now I typically when my carbs go up my protein goes down a little bit a for digestion volume you need less protein I'm not like trying to build muscle right now just like give my body what it needs so I'm eating a lot of steak right now the CLA creatine nutrients fat and that also help really fill you up and give you like a full look and salmon as well so kind of addressing that stuff, but I'm going to be going over everything I'm eating today pretty much. So that's meal one I had at about 8 a.m. I ended up eating it when it was cooked. And then I went back to bed because we were up to like 2. And now it's 10 a.m. and I'm going to be eating again. So eating almost every two hours. We have the press conference at like noon today. It's at noon. So I wanted to get three meals in before that because sometimes you sit there for like three hours and it's just long. And trying to keep me just full right now. So I woke up at like 239 point something, whatever, like still under 240 after eating a whole bunch. So my body's sucking up the food. I look dry as fuck. 
zero diuretic. I might not even need to take any to be honest because I'm just like flushing through stuff. And honey is so like on it of being like minimal everything, all natural food as best as possible, just to minimize anything you put in your body. So super happy about that. Happy to tell my body's responding. Happy I get to eat some filet mignon right about now. Life is beautiful. Food is beautiful. So we're gonna be doing this up. Courtney's absolute fucking queen in the kitchen. And you're so you know, bad. Yesterday, Please don't when, judge the face. yesterday when we were trying to make weight back and forth, Hani's a maniac, but he did it making weight. Sitting did it here, perfectly. he's a maniac in the best way possible. I mean that in like those like psychos who are just so good at what they do because they're so meticulous. Perfect, you did it. And Courtney was a machine in the kitchen. Okay. We got the team fucking rolling right now, so feels good. Gonna eat this up. I'll show you guys when the meal's made. So stay tuned. Tastes good already. Went on the rice, Some plain ass potatoes. Fresh rice too, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh, Benny, you got them too. Swag. Just call me. You know, what are you talking and, uh, Okay, I guess the athletes, you guys are on this side? Um, I think he's walking up to side. What's up, Vegas? Oh, man, am I excited. Folks, we have seen the most competitive lineup, I think maybe even in Olympia history, unfold itself for this year's Olympia title. And that's not just in the men's but straight across the board. Over 400 athletes qualifying this year. That does make this the biggest Olympia of all time. And I couldn't be happier that we're back here in Vegas. All right, the man, the myth, the legend, as you can hear by the crowd, they seem to like you here, Chris. Stash is back, better than ever. The stash is back. Yeah, got rid of the mullet this year too. I like, like that. that. Yeah, it's very, uh, very nice. Better, a little bit. better on you than me, that's for sure. I know, right? All right, Chris. We have this conversation every year. You've got some great contenders coming, but man, you just keep the, you just keep doing the business over and over and over. But last year, you were getting pushed right till the end, and I know you had that nice, heartfelt acceptance speech uh, at the end, which really touched everybody in the Olympia audience. So. Anything different this year? I know every year seems to be a, uh, not a struggle per se, but just gets more and more uh, tough to achieve the same. Is it getting harder as you go on to retain this title? I guess it gets easier and harder in ways, you know, you get used to it a little bit. And, you know, with, like you said, with the competition coming up, there's some crazy younger guys coming to look absolutely amazing and they push me to be my absolute best. And, you know, that's what happened this year. This is my fourth time coming in here, so I know the rodeo, I know how to do it, I know how to do, how, how to do what I do. I'm excited. So, you know, only I know what I did last year and I know how to beat what I did last year and I believe I did that. So, I'm excited to show it up. Well, you did. You did have some good young talent coming up and Urs uh, Kalasinski, he's back again this year. Um, and he's a young guy. What's he, 22, 23 years old? I Something think. like that, yeah. And um, I'd be remiss, of course, if I didn't recognize my Brazilian buddy, uh, Ramon Dino. Dino! Or, or, or Gino, I think Tamer was teaching me some Portuguese. So, so Dino is for dinosaur. Is that is that the, the yes, cake sir. with the? Yeah. the yeah. So I made the mistake of going on a podcast, and I actually didn't pick Ramon to win. And the next day, in my in, in my inbox, I hit four thousand dinosaur emojis. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? Like all from Brazil? You don't want to mess with. Oh no. no. 
loyal. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering the stage, the defending all classic, classic physique champion from the United States, Terrence Ruff Diesel And former two-time classic physique Olympia champion from the United States, Brian Ansley. You guys know each other? We met a few times. You met a few times, yeah. A few times, hey. sure. What up, Terry? Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you, how you guys doing? Love you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Rian, when it comes to classic, we were talking a little bit backstage. Loving the fade, man. Ooh, is it high enough? And I, and I said, speaking of classic, you know, very kid in play, and Brian said, nobody's going to know who you're talking about, bro. We got a few people, right? Yeah, we got, we got some people all, the, all the over 45 the people right now. I remember getting played. All right. Not quite there yet, but... <laughs> see? I think, see, I told you that somebody would know. These guys don't know. Yeah, you, know. <laughs> you don't know people play. No one you really don't know people play. We all look like you're younger than us. No one understands. <laughs> all right, Brian, we're back again. There's a lot, a lot of talk this year, man, on every podcast saying that you should have gone to the 212. They said, your time here is done. You can't beat this guy. This guy's snipping at you. He got you one show last year, right? I think. Was it the Olympia last year? <laughs> Two shows you got. Actually, three shows. Huh? Three shows you got. <laughs> Two twelves looking better and better, ain't it? So, now, in all seriousness, um, you've given consideration, although you said you've got some unfinished business, but you haven't ruled out in the future uh, going into the 212 division. No, I have not. Uh, but definitely unfinished business. Uh, here come Saturday. I want to finish um, this classic, my last classic year this year, with going out with a bang with a gold medal. So you're moving on either way? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. What? Okay. I will. I will be this is going to be an epic battle because this guy is just unrelenting. I mean, he hasn't shown out one bit of weakness, and all Terrence has done, by the way, Terrence is the best poser in the business, bar none. Okay? Just want to put that out there because it's kind of a lost art, but you classic guys have really brought it back. Uh, do you spend a lot of time on the posing routines? Because it sure looks like you do. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I think to be the best, you have to put the work in, you know. So I've been doing this for about a decade now. Every single day I'm going to, you know, getting it done. Yeah. Well, like you said, you busted three on three times, but have you ever beaten this guy? Uh, I have, actually. Yeah, I brought him in. We don't like sport. to talk about that show. <laughs> <laughs> well, do do tell like us. How did he get you in the sport? You was the first guy who ever beat me in Classic, really. Back in 2016, my first ever pro show, yeah, he came out of nowhere. It's where our friendship began, too, and grateful for that show, but I was never going to let that happen again. He was a baby back then, you know, yeah. Yeah, I want to show you the color of something. Hi, what's up, guys? What's up? Hi, babe. We're talking about truck. Do you see this shit? No, he's about ready to show me right now. This was the color, I was thinking. Oof. Yeah, do you mind if I touch it? Yeah, of course. Nice. Oh, yeah. Do you like that? I just I love do. the two tones. Yeah, I know that's do. a good way to go. Yeah. Alright, so just wrapped up the press conference. Honestly, making weight last night wasn't that bad. And it was kind of nice not having to wake up this morning, rush quickly to make weight and then eat quickly and then rush to the press conference and sit there for two hours and rush back and everything. So it was honestly, <clears throat> it's working out pretty good right now. And I got in and out of the press conference pretty quick. I feel like they rushed us a little bit. So, I mean, good for me. I don't have to sit around. I fell asleep back there because I was up so late last night. And they're like, Chris, you're going on. I'm like, what? And I like wake myself up, run out there, answer a few questions, and they let us leave early this time. Last time they made all the winners of the previous year stayed till the end. This year they made all the open bodybuilders stay till the end. So I got to sneak out of there early. Ian's still stuck back there. But come back, my neck and head still hurt, so I'm trying to roll out on this ball right now. And then I gotta shave my whole body down to a fucking naked mole rat. I should say Courtney's gotta shave my whole body down. She was shaving my butt yesterday. This is just true love, helping me fart and shaving my butthole. <laughs> You guys think this shit's all glamorous? I will actually the boys would probably like it. I was giving him an abdominal massage so he could pass some gas like a little baby. I and I was shaving 
his butt inside and not in around. Not the butt hole. Not the like inside, but I mean pretty much. I, I was like scooting your butt over yeah. and like, you know. I'm pretty fucking lean right now too. There's not much fat hiding my butt. It's just loot through. And then he has hair right here. So I'm like, babe, you need to like bend a little. He's like, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm like, bend just so I can shave this. No, Sorry. No man wants someone's hands down there. It's just everything in my body is like, don't touch me down there. So. Well, you had to get a mole rat status, you know? Yeah. So we got to fully shave down with the razors because my tan is tonight after the meet and greet. So we got to do that, get a meet and greet, tan at like 9.30 and then come back and sleep because I'm going to be fucking exhausted as I already am. So that's what's going on. Um, I had a meal backstage. Uh, we ran there and I had to eat. Honey told me to eat right before going on in case it took a while. <clears throat> I don't even know what I ate. Babe, what did I eat? He ate 140 grams of salmon, 150 rice, yeah, 100 yam, and then 100 red. And now he's going eating the same thing, but back to meal two. So instead of salmon, he's doing beef. Back to filet. Is that what At around 2.30, I think. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Dream Team does it again. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna roll my neck out to get later. Do you want sweet or white? I'm just gonna get you my mention. Alright, we're going sweet this meal, babe. Let's do white. Okay, never mind, we're going white this meal. Can you not think what? No, uh, Those two are the different ones. Trust me, they know. This is for me. There it is. Same fucking thing as last time. Heaven in a bowl. Got some 150 rice, 100 potato, 100 other potato, 140 steak. So, absolutely beautiful. And 300 milligrams of sodium in there. Top it off. As I'm eating a little more carbs, I'm lowering my sodium a little bit. Just to fluctuate stuff. Still got some water in me, so it's nice. And, yeah. Same shit. I'm just gonna eat this till I'm hungry. What? Cause you'll forget. He was tired, but he's good now. He's eating, and you know he's gonna lay down after this and just rest, and then, um, I'm, then he's gonna get. I'm gonna shave him, make sure he's like good to go, and then we'll walk okay. over later. So you can come up whenever we're here. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Bye. He's done. Piece of paper said a gallon for the day. Yeah, I think we'll stick to that. Just three. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look and just confirm it, but. Have you checked your weight by chance? Yes, yeah, 240.2. 240.2. I'll write it down. Okay. Hello, hi, come in. Hello, well, how are you, love? Good. So, hi. Here Hello, my children. Hi. How's it going? Hi, I'm Sammy. Nice to, oh, right Sammy. Sammy. nice to meet you. Sammy. Sammy's like a fried you. fish. What's up, brother? What's up? How are you, man? Good. 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 How's good. everything? Good. 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 Can't complain. Can't good. complain. Good. Well, how's the big guy doing? He's good. good. Lane. You're so cute, yeah. babe. Tired? Where did you get that? Bedangled. What's that word? Bedazzled. Bedangled. <laughs> My brain's not working right now. But it doesn't look like over, like a lot. Like when you wear it, it's No, if I do that, it's like gone. Yeah. And it means something. That's what I meant to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, thank you very much, sir. Of course, sir. It's very nice. It's good, right? That's yeah, good. it looks great. I like it because it's not like super crazy. That's what yeah, I, I didn't yeah. want it to be. I wanted to be like yeah. subtle and just it like super crazy. in the box and I'm I know. Too, yeah. <laughs> just a little crazy in the box. Well, Sam's like, well, I opened it. I was like, damn, it's sparkly. Like, wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it still looks that really looks good. good but yeah. Really, like, but it doesn't look, it looks classy. Yeah, I didn't want it to be like too like gaudy. Yeah. Guess we're committed to the logo now. And then we ain't going back. It's <laughs> 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 all building it on our deck. We ain't changing it now. And we are off again. So I haven't had time to lie down today, and I'm dying. We just shaved my whole body down for like an hour, eat, pose a bit with honey, and now we're headed to the meet and meet. And I am beat. Now we gotta get to meet a bunch of people for a few hours, which is fun when I get my energy back. But right now, 
It's going to be a long night because I'm going to tan immediately after, get home at like 11 again, and then chill out tomorrow. So I'm going to get to meet and greet, meet some people, have some fun, and get on with the night. I had to dip out after two and a bit hours, but there were still a few people in line. If you were one of those people, I'm so sorry. But I was so fucking tired and I have to tan. And I was up till 1am training last night like you guys saw. It's just a rough weekend for us. So everyone who saw who came out, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I will be doing more meet and greets as much as possible to see you guys. Sometimes I just can't see everyone. And I really am doing my best to do it. But it's Olympia weekend. You guys love me because I step on stage at my best and I gotta do what I gotta do to be my best. So. I'm literally just gonna fall over at some point too. So. Love you guys, but time to get tanned up and go to bed. Refueling after that mean greet. This is a boring meal, but still tastes good because it's food. We got corn tomato. I think 250 grams of white rice and 160 grams of chicken. So, no condiments because I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> but still tastes good. Get this down, get my tan on. <laughs> what do you want? You're always coming after me. Stop. Just turn around, Derek's just naked on the chair. This guy.
Which is how many carbs are in each wraith cake? Mm, Katie's box is seven. Let's double check. Yep. Friday before the show, big day. Carbon up, eating some food. Ate some good food yesterday. Not good, good food, but it was a lot of food, so it felt good to eat. And I woke up the same the same way I woke up as Wednesday. So my I fluctuated my water a little bit. I had less, but I still had like four liters of water yesterday. And my weight's still coming down, so that's like my body's just like fucking sucking it up. So breakfast was going to be a hundred grams of oats. How much are you that? Uh, one fifteen. 100 grams of oats and 115 grams of chicken breast. And then I, because I woke up light and still not flat, but like not quite full full yet. He's like, all right, add some more oats. And they actually now, less oats, add some rice cakes. It's dry as shit, I'm like, beautiful. Add some rice cakes. So he's telling me how many rice cakes to eat right now, but I'm gonna be kind of going over with you guys, everything I'm eating today the day before the Olympia, because it's the day that matters of what you're getting, everything inside of you. Tomorrow, you hopefully wake up looking like you're supposed to look and you're just like fine tuning every little thing, eating like a little rice cakes, a little breakfast, some rice and potato, and just simple things to keep your look that you already have. So, we're gonna be trying to go over all that today and do what we do, so stay tuned. There's chicken so much better, almost tastes like this seasoning on it. Sorry, babe. I should have all of them. Alright, so because my weight was a little low, honey was like, alright, get some fats in, but I didn't want any more water in my oats or anything like that. So he's like, rice cake and avocado. Would have loved some almond butter, but this is honestly a nice little refreshing way to finish off breakfast. Calvin dipped out of here, so I'm just filming this with Courtney. Because don't, try not to miss anything today, because every time I do this, I miss a meal because I'm rushing and not thinking because my brain's half functioning. But I have three rice cakes and 50 grams of avocado spread on top for a little bit of nice fats. And that will be the actual wrap on breakfast. So, peace out. All right, what's going on guys? We are back to some old school sebum style full day of eating vlogs with the camera on the box of Nutribullet. Random box I find in my house, prop the camera up. And here we are with meal number two. It is approximately 10.45 in the morning. Day two, going on no water. Just kidding, that was our joke of my captain's vlog. I'm actually still drinking water, so it feels good. But this meal consists of 140 grams of steak. Steak, yeah. 100 grams of sweet potato, 100 grams of yellow potato, and 150 grams of white rice. I am definitely going full bouge eating filet right now. Every meal and it is absolutely amazing. A little filet mignon for all my steaks. A lot easier to digest, it's like you chew it, it's like butter. You guys know filet is beautiful. And it's just a lot easier on your stomach to get down when you're eating right now. And everything right now I'm doing is optimal digestion, optimal bloating, because I don't want to have a bloated stomach. I want to make sure the food's passing through me. With how healthy, ooh, delicious. With how healthy I've been eating and clean I've been eating, for so long, my body's not used to eating shit food. So some people want to carve up, they want to have hamburgers, they want to have like, you know, treats, chips, sugar, whatever. But then you can get bloated, back up your digestion, and your stomach looks like shit, you start to look watery, and you don't want that. So, eating all super organic, clean, healthy, fresh cooked meals by Chef Courtney here in the back, doing the damn thing. Fucking smoking off the kitchen. It's pretty damn smoking in there, but <laughs> she's- the fire alarm. She's been killing the game into cooking, the meals taste great, and they're all bland, no sodium, no seasoning, just food, so. I'm gonna put this down. I've been watching X-Men movies, specifically Wolverine. I watched Origins Wolverine, now I'm watching Wolverine, then I'm gonna watch Logan. I'm skipping all the X-Men bullshit because I just wanna watch Hugh Jackman cut people's heads off. So, put on my movie, eat my meal, and I'll see you guys for the next meal. All right, what's going on guys? We got Coachman in the corner here. All mysterious in the sunlight. <laughs> It's a Christmas tree in the fucking corner. The, the white light coming through. <laughs> just a mysterious man in the back telling me what to put in my body while I'm eating some beautiful salmon, rice, and sweet potato. I love eating all these fucking fats right now. You know that I love my fats right now. I love everything right now. But salmon, fat, all the stuff going to me, it's helping me just have energy right now. It's nice having like energy through the day. I was, every day I wake up and then go back to bed and just like couldn't stay awake and now I'm like 
Yeah. Like, I- I'm alive, you know? Yeah. It's good to feel back to life. And looking better and better as time goes on. So, super grateful. Plan's going. We're doing good. It's 1224, meal number three. Getting the carbs in and chilling for the day. So, this is it. Rice, sweet potato, salmon. Meal number three. Checking out. See you for meal number four. All right, so meal number four. It's only 2.30 p.m. Already eaten four meals, so it's a beautiful day. Now I got some avocado. I wish I could stuff avocado in there and turn it into guacamole, but it's still delicious. I got some white fish, 275 grams of rice, five ounces of white fish, like 140 grams, and then 60 grams of avocado in there. And I sprinkled a bunch of lemon on there for flavor, so that's my condiment for the day. And eating this, getting it down right now, Delicious. My parents are chilling right now in the room. Courtney doesn't have to pant to them if they're I hiding. was going to, but I didn't know if the parents wanted <laughs> me to, but Mama and Papa Bum set are right here. Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Dad made it. They've been to every single Olympia. They're here to support. And this is our kind of, this is our chill crew that we can just lie in the room and relax. So we're hanging out, eating. Some of the people from Raw just came by and dropped off a little quarter zip for me and a nice little note. So they are sending their love and support. So much appreciated. And... Yeah, that's it. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat this meal. See you guys for meal number five. Just can't like not the, like do you know what I mean? Like can I go right across the street? Like do I need to get an Uber? No, no, no. It's right okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I guess. I'm sorry. I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. This meal is one fifty nine two hundred. All right, we're off to tan number three. I just totally missed another meal, Calvin, so I'm sorry, I did miss eating one, but it was a bunch, it was 300 grams raw weight, russet potato, and some steak, so same old shit, but I got a fig in my pocket, a dried organic fig, sodium free, sugar free, well, not, no sugar added, these things taste like crack right now, I'm not going to lie, it's the only sugar I'm having, so, eating this on the way over there, got a tam, got a meal with me, I'm going to eat it over there. I'll probably get naked, tan, eat my meal naked, and we'll film that, so. Three quarter day of eating. Stay tuned. No, it'll be like seven, eight. Seven. Eight meals and I miss one meal. He's a big boy. Matt, if you need to leave and he walks me back, it's totally cool. If you need to go to... Good old tanning booth, a whole bunch of naked brown dudes, white dudes, brown dudes, black dudes, who all end up being brown in the end, and butts out, sock over the way, and ready to rock and roll. Gotta eat. This is meal number five or six? Six. I think I don't even I've lost count. I'm eating every two hours, I have no idea even anymore. But it's like 150 grams of potato, 150 grams of rice, and 140 grams of salmon. I think I didn't put together Courtney and Honey did, but he said he wanted me to eat. Every two hours, I'm here, I'm not dry yet, so what better way to kill time than eat some salmon, rice, and potato? Absolutely. Delicious. I'm enjoy this. Hopefully by the time I'm done, I'm dry. I get the fuck out of here. Put some clothes on and go to bed. Well, I gotta eat again and then go to bed. Push down on that quad. Are you pushing down? There you go. Yeah, so if 
what we want to see, Matt, tomorrow yep. is I want to see this deeper. Yep. yep. Okay. Open it up like just. Go up and then go down a little bit. Go up. Yeah. There you go. Don't lean back too much. Right there. Perfect. Triceps are striated. Give him some vascularity in the mid back. Good. Thick. Yeah. Good. Give me the most muscular crab most muscular. <sighs> yes. It's fucking my shot. You want to see what it looks like? Do that. But does your stomach feel like it's digesting? Because if it's not, we can do a um Good shit. Mm -hmm. Make sure I'm not sneaking in pop tarts in there. That's right. I thought maybe it looks like uh, you got a little crushed up chocolate chip cookies in there. There are some. I'm hidden under the stick. <laughs> Waiting for you to turn around. <laughs> That's tomorrow night. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the final meal of the day, Friday. Same old shit. Got some potato. Some rice and some filet mignon. Finishing off the day like this, it's like nine o'clock. Gonna go to bed after this. Try to knock my ass out, get some good sleep, and wake up shredded in the morning, ready to rock and roll. Tomorrow's game day. Going over the plan right now. We got a good plan. Got the whole squad here, ready to go early morning. One more tan, and then we're heading over to the convention center, the Venetian, to get on stage and show them what we brought. So. Let's do this shit. Let's do it. Bedtime.